Oh, got him. Wow. Not here on a pond today that I've been to before, but only as much as I could wade in with my waders. I haven't been in my kayak, and it's definitely big enough for a kayak, so decided to try to give that a shot today. Let's see how this goes. I've seen there's already one guy fishing down that way some way. I saw him. So I don't know how long he's been here and what all he's fished, but definitely not afraid to fish behind people let's get it going <laughs> just a little dude anyway like I was saying it's April 5th so I'm assuming it's pretty much post spawn in here so that's how I'm gonna fish the day until it tells me any different I don't know what he's doing. Kind of just turn it around. I wonder if he's got a bed or some fry around here that I'm not seeing. Oh yeah. The school of fry right here next to me. That's what's happening. He wants to be right here. Right by me. Oh, wow, there's a nice one sitting right here. Just cruising, he's not really running away real quick. I wonder if he's guarding some fry also. It's a pretty nice male if that's a male though. Yeah, I think that's probably a just a nice male guarding some fry around here somewhere. I might have to throw a Cinco at these guys to get them to fire. Ooh, where did I say that? There's one. It's a good one too. There we go. Yes, sir. I'll take that. There's another good one right there just looking at me. It's that one I saw first. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Hey, this one's actually a little bit bigger than that one. It's a nice one, though. I'll take that for sure. It was already worth it to me. It's a decent little fish there. Probably a male, long, skinny. I don't know, maybe a post spawn female looking to eat like I was talking about earlier. But I'll take that for sure. That's one for the swim bait. There's another one. Feels like another decent one. Not as good as that other one. Still, a fish I will definitely take. There we go. Alrighty. Looks like another healthy little male. Pretty dude. See you later. 
throwing this really light weight by the way almost no weight at all really just enough to keep the swim bait upright because there's so much sludge and weeds and stuff in here I want to be able to roll it really slow as slow as I can I don't want the weight to take it down into that sludge and force me to reel it really fast I want to be reeling it pretty slow so that I come through those little balls of fry or come right in front of those post-spawn lethargic females real slow and tantalizing like dying the tail of this swim bait chartreuse also like I always like to do to my plastics I always like to tip them with chartreuse especially in the spawn I feel like that gets them fired up a little bit that's always a good time when you got spent plastics in the bottom of your boat in the first 10 minutes you definitely have to throw a frog over some of this stuff later when the sun gets up high and really positions them under those mats there's another another fish just a little dude there you go Oh, oh, there's a big one. Oh, got him. Nice. Nice. I saw him coming from a long way away. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is a nice one there. Oh, don't come off there. Oh, no, he's hooked good. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That. That is a nice one. I saw that fish coming from a long way away. And stuck that puppy hard. Paddle over here and get some good footage of him before I let him go. Or her, I think. That was very nice. I saw that fish coming from a long way away. That's a nice one there. That one's probably pushing three. Big old belly. That's a nice one right there. That's a nice fish. Thank you for playing. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Little dude just ate it right there in front of me. I was just about to say probably need to start throwing out on this outer edge a little more right now because it is definitely getting shallow over here it seems like I'm seeing more bait and stuff pop out there and got my third cast out there that one ate it right there in front of me so that might be a little sign there's another one feels like a decent one we're right at me right now Golly. I want a sleigh ride. Oh no, he came off. Golly. Gee whiz, that was another good one. No. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to retie this swim bait onto this spinning rod, which is not ideal, but it does have straight braid, so probably be all right for hook set purposes but I want to put a, a frog on this bigger rod here I can't help but throw a frog amongst this stuff back here so I'll go ahead and put that little swim bait on a spinning rod like I said put the frog on my normal bait casting setup which still isn't ideal for a frog either but a lot better than a spinning rod. Oh, golly. Got a bite on my first cast, but my drag slipped a little bit. Let me tighten that down. Golly. Bite on my first cast with the frog. That's a good sign.
Oh, got him. Wow. Wow. I thought he missed it. Holy cow. That was crazy. That just happened. Oh, right in front of me. What a blow up. And what a fish. Wow. I was reeling that in because it had a, a reed stock on it. <laughs> wow. And this fish, this big mama came out of nowhere and crushed it. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a day. This is craziness. <laughs> this is craziness. And I thought for sure that fish missed it. And then I paused and my, my line was swimming. Holy cow. That just happened. Look at that fat sucker right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. That one's definitely over three there. Golly. That one might be pushing four. Nice big old head. Nice built body. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, big girl. That was very, very fun. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Well, how do you top that? I don't know. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, here we go again. Here's the pattern. <laughs> oh. Something chased something up right there. Come on. Oh. Yep. Got him. Nice. He was still hungry. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was cool little dude, thank you for that, God, what a crazy day. Oh golly, gee whiz, big fish right there. That was a giant there. Nice one. Saw him come out of nowhere and eat it. That was cool. Quite the fight on this spinning rod. Yes, sir. That'll work. Another one for the swim bait. Another good one. Yeah, this is a really nice fish, actually. Better than I initially thought. There we go. I'll take those all day right there. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Real nice fish. Thank you. That was fun. There we go. Another one on the swim bait. Right on that little point. Right on that little point over there, the reeds. Stuck in good too. Pretty little bass. Thank you, dude. That was a 
good one. Dang it. Didn't wait quite long enough. Alright, well, been out here about an hour and a half now. It's getting hot, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. I didn't bring anything to eat or drink with me. So, I'm gonna get going here pretty quick. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tie on a whopper plopper. Something I can just chunk and wind on the way back to where I put in. And also, we'll create a good disturbance in that wind out there. Whopper plopper was getting them fired up. I think it was a decent fish too, the way he hit the second time. Oh no! Golly! That looked like a decent little fish too. Thank you. 